What's the wildest cheating story you've witnessed or happened to you? My ex-wife pretended to be admitted to a mental health ward for long-term treatment while actually staying with her new man and cheating on me. My friend's mom was in a relationship with a guy for years and they ended up getting engaged and due to marry. The guy was a senior director of a company for which he traveled every week abroad for business. Eventually, the guy had a heart attack and when my friend's mom turned up at the hospital, his wife and two kids were there also. Turned out he was already married with children and living a double life the whole time. When he went abroad for business, he was simply going back to his actual family. A friend caught her husband cheating because he kept coming home smelling like ferrets. Hard to play off long day at work and explain that. When she found out at a holiday party that one of the young female co-workers owned ferrets, it all made sense. In a small town, the husband kept telling people he had an open marriage, finally someone asked his wife about it, she was unaware of this new arrangement. A family friend's husband was having an affair for 20 plus years and that woman knew the entire time about his family. He was at her ranch one time and was bucked off a horse and broke his back. The affair partner called his wife to tell her and acted like everything about this situation was normal and the wife had no reason to act all upset at the affair. Some people really just have no shame. Guy lived and made a complete recovery, left his mistress and they stayed together since they were working on their relationship. He died a few years ago and the wife finds out he never actually left his mistress, just lied. Roommate was sleeping with his boss who was married with a child. She would arrive at our house at 5.30 a.m., having told her husband she's off to gym, they would have an early morning shag, shower, get ready, and go off to work together. They would also do it at work in the bathrooms. On weekends, he would go do his food shopping, and she would coincide her food shopping, so they would walk around the store together doing their shopping. He came home one night and sat my other roommate and I down and told us that within the next six months that she would be getting a divorce and they were going to have a kid together. Let's just say she's still married and he's got a new job. They were lawyers, so much, for being fit and proper. A friend of a friend found out that her husband was cheating when she got to the hospital to see her husband who had just moments before been brought in by ambulance after a serious car accident only to be denied entry to his room because his wife was already in the room with him. He had two simultaneous lives with two women, neither of which was aware of the other. A guy I went to school with had been in a relationship for a few years with a girl in the year below. He left home and bought the house right next door to his parents. One day he came home and found his dad hanging out the back of his girlfriend. Had everyone over for my birthday, lots of drinks and laughs later. Most of my friends left and I told the remaining few they could either let themselves out or crash as I was going to bed. Woke up at 3 in the morning to get a drink of water and found my then boyfriend, who lived with me and best friend of 10 years, hooking up on my couch. The guy my ex was cheating on me with would serve me drinks when I would go and visit her at work. My entire group of friends was aware of it, and I only learned about it after one of my true friends blackmailed another to confess. When she finally spoke, it was the most fake stuff ever. It's no big deal, everyone else thinks it's okay. And similar things. I'll just say that I quickly distanced myself from both that friendship circle and relationship. Friend's mom was cheating for seven years. Only got caught because her side boo broke up with her, which led her to go to her husband for emotional support. Told him the whole thing expecting him not to be mad. I was 32, she was cheating on me with her ex for like six months before I found out. The way I found out was she called me crying hysterically saying she killed him by accidentally running him over. I get all her belongings from the police and find all the evidence on her laptop with them screwing. An argument over me was what caused the running over, police ruled it accidental and she brags about it in bars to this day. 
She also ended up having a kid with a guy that had the same name as me and spells it exactly the same too. Edit, the way she ran him over was interesting too. Purposely at first, but he was alive under the tire, and she had a sudden change of heart. She jacked the car up using the car jack, but it slipped as she was attempting to pull him out, it was raining, and the car tire then crushed his ribcage and lungs, finishing him off. So technically, he got ran over twice in the same night. I know someone that cheated on his wife for at least 20 years. He brought the mistress a house that was better than the one he lived in with his family. He bought this woman cars and expensive vacations and everything. No one knew for years because he hid it all in his business accounting. The only way that they found out is that some car registration renewals came in the mail when he was away on vacation with his mistress, and neither vehicle belonged to the family or the businesses. For six months, my ex dressed as a bricklayer and went out from 7 in the morning to 7 in the evening. He didn't go to work, but had his lover pick him up and spend the whole day with her. When I worked at college, this guy cheated on his girlfriend. With her mother. He dated both of them, knowing they were related, but they didn't know they were dating the same guy. He got both of them pregnant too, and vanished shortly after they found out he dating both of them. We used to semi-jokingly wonder if he ran away or was stuffed into a barrel at the bottom of the lake. I worked at a ski resort and was riding the chairlift with a friend, talking about a mutual friend, Ray, I mentioned how much I like our Ray's girlfriend, her name was Stacy. My friend says, no, Ray's girlfriend is Monica. We bicker for a minute before we have a terrible realization. I couldn't in good conscience keep this information secret from Stacy, who was expecting to be engaged soon and lived with Ray. She ran into Monica at a bar and confronted Monica, who reportedly said I've been with Ray for longer and known about you the whole time. Stacy tried to gouge Monica's eyes and was carried out of the bar. Ray was found to have a history of this behavior, even having a secret child in another state that he refused to pay support for. I quit speaking with him, and sometimes wonder what happened to him. Both ladies are married to good men and are now happy, so there's that. Names changed for obvious reasons.